A bake sale labeled Affirmative Action Bake Sale was held at Clemson University last week. A sign showed each cookie had a different price based on a customer's race with Asians paying the most at $150 and natives whose land we are on is free. I mean, good. One would think that in today's climate that you would understand how inappropriate this is. Okay, scratch that, scratch that, because no, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't, because this still happens today, to this day, all the time. But Clemson, South Carolina, University of Clemson. It's crazy that you, nobody said, hey, okay, maybe we shouldn't do this. This might be a bad idea. I guess not. Now, many have pointed out that this stunt occurred on the first day of Black History Month, and Honestly, as dumb and as racist as that is, that's not what gets me. Nah, I made the mistake of reading the statement that Turning Point USA released in order to try to explain this nonsense. A spokesperson from the Clemson TP USA chapter said the bake sale was in an effort to highlight what takes place at other universities like Harvard and UNC and that it was not targeting Clemson. That's suspicious. That's weird. This from the Clemson TP USA chapter, quote, our student organization tabled on campus today in opposition to affirmative action. The bake sale was held to highlight the discrepancy amongst races in the college admission process. Although no cookies were actually sold, the prices on our poster represented the different standards set for different races in the admission process. With that said, according to WYFF, TPUSA said they are not sure of what Clemson's processes are in terms of admission and affirmative action. So there's that. Back to the TPUSA statement. Our organization believes discrimination of any kind, including the discrimination brought about by affirmative action, is morally wrong and violates the Equal Protection Clause. Unlike the universities that implement affirmative action programs and set different standards for different races, we handed out cookies to all students today, regardless of race. So. What bothers me is that these white women, if they are staff at Clemson, could very well have been the beneficiaries of affirmative action, seeing how affirmative action benefits white women the most. I want to add to this topic too. The people that primarily benefit from affirmative action, despite what the bank sale sign says, are white women. They are the primary beneficiary of affirmative action. Say what you want. Think how you think, feel how you feel, but you can look that up. They may not know it or acknowledge it, and it's not reflected in their cookie prices. And this white man, if he were a student, could be there solely because he's a legacy admission or a student of staff or a donor. Is this merit-based? A lot of white students and staff are getting a lot of cookies for free. For more from the Young Turks, stay right here. If you haven't seen my video called Fox Host Clueless Over A&W Bear Scandal, then you can watch it after you click the link in the description below. You can find me at my YouTube channel called We Gonna Be Alright. My architect knows Japanese.